Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about creating a subnet within AWS. On the first video, we went over how to create a VPC, a virtual private network, and today is all about creating a subnet. So uh, on the last video, I left you guys here when we created our VPC. I gave it a name of VM site dash VPC because uh, this virtual private cloud is going to be what I am going to be using within my nine to five job to integrate or kind of connect my AWS stuff to my VMware cloud stuff. So on your left hand side, we are going to click on subnets again by default. Uh, for what I've seen, when you create an account within AWS, uh, it already gives you a VPC, it automatically gives you subnets, but I want to create different subnets for my VMware cloud. Okay, so we are going to click on create subnet from here. I'm going to create three subnets with you guys. Now the first one, I'm going to name it the following. And also within the VPC drop down menu, you're going to pick the VPC that we created on the first video. So whatever name you gave it, just pick it from there for your zone. Make sure you pick your zone uh, on the drop down menu. When you click on the drop down menu, it gives you a list of like West East. I made sure I pick the East one. Also pay close attention to my naming. So I kind of kept everything kind of consistent. So the first one is East to a, and my zone is also East to a and the block, right? Because this is the block that I want to use for this subnet. And I'm going to basically click on create and one subnet is done. So once you create one subnet, you're basically doing the thing again, just click on create subnet. And the next one is going to be for me, us East to B. Uh, and the subnet that I'm going to do the block, the IPv4 is going to be a 2002.0 with a slash 24. And again, the VPC drop down, make sure that you pick the VPC that you created on the first video. Now also pay close attention to my naming. Uh, the name tag is the same thing as the zone. Uh, I like to do it that way because it kind of keeps everything nice and consistent. So it won't drive me crazy of thinking up name tags. And if you look at the name tag, I automatically know what zone is it in, right? Rather than clicking on it and looking at, you know, the information. So click on create. Second subnet is done. Close. That's your second one. And we're going to do it again. And we are going to uh, click on create subnet. Now in the last subnet, I'm going to give it the following information. Again, we created a 2A, 2B on the east side zone. And I'm going to create the last one, which is 2C on the zone 2C for east. Uh, again, hit the drop down menu, make sure you pick the virtual private cloud that you created on the first video and you give it an IPv4. This is basically my uh, 2A is going to be 20.0.1.0, my 2B is going to be 20.0.2.0 and then my 2C is going to be 20.0.3.0 uh, with a block of 24, all right? And click on create and your subnet is done. And now you have three subnets and that's it. We created three subnets for our virtual private cloud. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and also make sure to hit that subscribe and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.